Welcome to the Highland Park Aquatic Center. I'd like to thank everyone for joining us here today. Uh, as you join us for what I believe will certainly be an historic announcement. Uh, joining me today are some key individuals who have helped make this happen. Uh, St. Paul Mayor Chris Coleman, Creative Waters Solutions President and CEO Dr. David Knighton, our Aquatic Supervisor Lynn Waldorf, and from USA Aquatics Tom Schaefer. You'll hear more from each of those folks in a few minutes, uh, but uh, first a few words from me. Today the City of St. Paul will be the first municipality to introduce what uh, will certainly be uh, industry practice for the nation as we work with our public uh, swimming pools. How we manage the, the swimming pools, how we operate our swimming pools. A little bit of background of why we're here. Uh, St. Paul Parks and Recreation completed a strategic vision last year outlining uh, a new mission with long-term goals for our uh, uh, very old but also very recognized within our industry department as a leader in parks and recreation. Within this vision, we called upon ourselves to be more innovative. We also called for ourselves to respond creatively to change, and we also uh, called upon ourselves to connect the entire city. So when we were approached at the beginning of this season by Dr. Knighton and his Minnesota-based company, Creative Water Solutions, with an opportunity to revol revolutionize how we treat our pool water, uh, we knew it was exactly what our department needed in order to move forward. So after doing some research, um, consulting with state public health officials, we decided to pursue a pilot project study with Creative Water Solutions for adding some moss filters, which Dr. David Knighton will discuss in a bit, at the facilities here at Highland Park Aquatic Center and also at the Great River Water Park. We began this in May. We learned very quickly that these filters were very effective, so we added the innovative water uh, systems to our other facilities as well. I'll let my partners speak more to the details of how these systems work, but first I'd like to announce a proud frontline supporter of this pilot, pri uh, pri pilot program, St. Paul Mayor Chris Coleman. Mayor. Thanks, Mike. Yet one more way that my staff has devised to torture me, have me come out to a pool on a nice, beautiful, sunny day with a suit and tie on. It just is not a good thing. But I just want to uh, thank everyone that was involved in this pilot project and, and uh, you know, taking this pilot project and really moving it into something that's a permanent part of the fixture for our pools in the city of St. Paul. This is truly an amazing partnership. To be able to take a product like this to experiment with it, to try to figure out exactly whether it has the potential that we were promised it might have, uh, and end up with water that is cleaner, that has uh, about a half to a third less chemicals that are used in it, chlorine in particular, uh, where people are coming out of the pool feeling like they are, uh, their eyes aren't as irritated, they don't smell like chlorine, uh, their skin feels softer, their hair doesn't turn green. It's, uh, it's a really, it's a wonderful thing when you have that. Um, but it's that kind of innovation and that partnership. So this is good on so many different levels. It saves the city of St. Paul money by using less chemicals. Uh, it's better for the swimmers. It's better for the environment. On every level, this has proven to be an incredible success. So I want to thank uh, Dr. Knighton and his incredible staff. I want to thank uh, our staff at the, uh, in St. Paul Parks and Recreation Department, Lynn, our aquatics director, and everyone who had a play, played a role in having St. Paul be an innovator and a leader. I think that's one thing I want to just say that I, I think in the city of St. Paul, we are taking those next steps. We are trying to figure out how to do things better. We're trying to figure out how to do things uh, with, uh, with less resources, but in a, in a, uh, hopefully in a better way. And I think that this is one of those opportunities. So congratulations to everyone. And uh, hopefully uh, at the end, uh, Mike Thomas promised he was going to do a somersault in his suit. So congratulations. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Mayor. I'll, uh, I'll look forward to testing the water here a bit myself, I guess. Um, now I'd like to welcome to the podium the, the genius behind this uh, filtration system, uh, Dr. David Knighton from Creative Water Systems. Dr. Knighton. Thank you very much. It's a real pleasure to be here today. The City of St. Paul gave us an opportunity that's really a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to take 
technology that we'd been developing over the last eight years and have used in residential pools and spas for the last five years and giving it a test in an environment that you see here today where bather loads are high and where systems are tested to their max. The staff here in the Aquatic Center has done an amazing job helping us and the results have surpassed even my expectations. The product that we're using here actually is a plant and it's been, it's been treating water in bogs for centuries and millennia. And the problem is that once we invented antibiotics, everybody forgot about it. And in doing research in wound healing, I came upon it in an airplane flying back from Germany in an article in Atlantic Monthly. And we, Vance and I started working on it. Vance is my partner, who you'll meet in a second. And we found out that this plant not only doesn't allow bacteria, algae, uh, mold, or yeast to grow in its presence, but it keeps pH stable, so you don't have to add a lot of chemicals to keep the pH stable, and it also helps prevent biofilm from forming. And luckily, Vance is one of the U.S. experts in biofilm. So, the, so this wonderful plant that we're using, luckily for us, northern Minnesota is the Saudi Arabia for this moss. So we're very excited about the opportunity. We're very excited to be working with the city of St. Paul. We've got other projects that we're going to be doing and we're uh, terribly fortunate to have a city like St. Paul that will step forward and take on innovation and help us test it to see if it works. And I wanna uh, welcome to the podium uh, Lynn Waldorf who directs our aquatic program here in St. Paul and point out when I uh, bring up Lynn that the young people she works with within our aquatics program are recognized within the industry year after year for their skills in, uh, in providing uh, water safety for our guests here in St. Paul. So uh, welcome to the podium, uh, Lynn Waldorf from our program and Tom Schaefer from USA Aquatics. Hi, good morning. I uh, first heard about this product at the beginning of the swim season right before we were gonna open. I got a phone call, asked if I would listen to um, a presentation about a new filtration system, and they asked me if I had time, and I kind of said, yeah, I have time, I'll listen to you. And uh, at that time, I also went to Tom Schaefer with US Aquatics, he's an aquatic consultant who has worked with the city on a lot of projects, and asked him if he would be welcome to look at this presentation. The two of us sat down with a few other people in his company and we looked at it and said you know what I think this will work all day long it seemed to make sense to me we worked with um, our engineers we worked with all of our um, employees on installing the moss with creative water solutions and we've had this huge science experiment going on here at the Highland Park Aquatic Center which has been phenomenal a huge education for myself but a very welcome one, and looking at using less chemicals has been very exciting for me, being that I've been a swimmer my whole life, and I understand and always felt that more chemicals were better because we were getting rid of bacteria and really re-educating myself and working with Creative Water Solutions has been a joy to actually see that you can downsize the chemicals and, and we had a lot of people come out here and look at this, the state health department, um, some instructors in, in uh, the pool industry that teach engineers how to work with our pools and we really have been working on bringing our chemicals down and making our water clearer and it was relatively easy to do um, it's shocking to do, and it's great that this is such a green product for us, that we have been very excited to work with this. Um, when I introduced it to Tom, he was very excited about it, and his company has done a lot of things with um, pools around the United States. So um, the two of us looking at it saying, you know what, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, but it has, within days, it worked beautifully. Typically when we have large bather loads at our facilities, it can take us on these hot days, we can have up to 4,500 people to 5,000 people in our pools, and it takes like four days for our water to clear up. 
you know, it's just a little cloudy. These pools cleared up instantly. These pools were gorgeous by the next morning. They're beautiful today. When we've come here and walked around and tested the water, and I've been here quite a bit this summer, um, almost every morning, people have come up to me and said, thank you for such great water this year, Lynn. And I'm like, well, you're welcome. And I really didn't tell anybody about what we were doing. We didn't want anyone to know. We just announced it a week and a half ago, what we were actually doing to our staff and to other swimmers in the pool. And a lot of people are going to find out with this news conference. And it's been just a joy to watch people be so excited about how great the water is, how great their skin is, how great their hair is. Their eyes are don't get red anymore and they're just really excited about what we're doing. And when we actually announced it, they said, you're kidding me. And they were just ecstatic about it because they haven't had to do all these things they've had to do. And you will hear from some of our swimmers who have swam here for quite a few years. So, um, but I'd also like to have you listen to um, Tom Schaefer with US Aquatics. Thanks, Lynn. Um, we were uh, acting as aquatic consultant to the city of St. Paul on the Como project, working with uh, city staff, parks and recs, and with the Como Pool Task Force. One of our uh, assignments um, that we we're doing on is, is is really bringing green technology, green design, uh, to that Como facility. And part part of our job is to evaluate uh, any green technology that might be out there. So. Uh, when Lynn had uh, uh, been contacted by Creative Water Solutions and uh, we were able to sit down and talk to him, as a consultant this really made sense because it was the first uh, green technology uh, product that, that came to us and they didn't say we had to eliminate chlorine, which all the others have done that. Uh, what they did say is that um, and this won't kill bacteria. What it does is, is it prevents that bacteria from forming colonies. And we know from our experience that chlorine is really efficient in killing bacteria, but it's quite frankly lousy at killing the bacteria colony, which is the biofilm. In fact, the biofilm is a sink for the chlorine. It, 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 it just eats it up. So for this to come along was, was something that we really wanted to try. Uh, uh, Highland Park was a great uh, test case to try this. Um, and we are finding the benefits of it. The chlorine is, is uh, because of the moss, is so much more efficient that the consumption or, or the, the uh, demand on the chlorine is so much less with this product. Also, as a natural buffer, we're seeing a lot of uh, less pH control um, uh, chemical used because of the moss. The third element that was, uh, uh, is going to be big to this industry is that uh, for years, uh, we know that we use cyanuric acid to stabilize chlorine in outdoor pools because of the ultraviolet rays from the sun. Um, it's really great to see a product like this, like the moss that comes along, and it takes that cyanuric acid demand and, and it reduces it because the chlorine is so much more efficient. So, um, and again, to get rid of cyanuric acid, once it's in the water, you can't get rid of it, so you only dilute it. So. Um, we started out at this facility at 30 parts per million with cyanuric acid and as of last week we're down to zero and, and the chlorine demand is still going down. So uh, I think we see the benefits of it. Uh, this is mid-August by now. Uh, anybody with blonde hair, their hair is usually green by now. So uh, this is quite a testimonial right now to see all the blonde haired people in here and no green haired people. So thank you. I could go on all day about how great this product has been and what a great experience this is, but I'd really like you to hear from some of our patrons that use our facilities and let you hear their testimonium. So Thad, do you want to come up and tell us? Thanks, Lynn. Uh, my name's Thad Ingersoll. I'm a lifelong resident of St. Paul, and I've actually been swimming at this pool for, gosh, probably the last 30 years or so. And I've noticed, I probably spent, as, as these guys mentioned, I probably spent the 80s with green hair. Um, so it's having three daughters, it's really nice to uh, have them spend the entire summer at this pool, not get red eyes, not get the green hair. We've used a lot less lotion on dry skin. And for us, I, our family, it's really exciting to hear um, the amount of chlorine that they're able to cut down on. 
in this pool, the amount of chemicals that they don't need in this pool. Um, we've been coming here for so long, you kind of get used to the smell of chlorine around our house. We've noticed something different this summer. Um, we, we're no longer marinating in that smell and it's, it doesn't pervade our entire house. So we're really excited about it. Um, to be the first in the city of St. Paul um, to use this, you know, we feel really, uh, you know, really excited about that as well. So for us, you know, we appreciate this opportunity. Our family specifically has really had a fantastic summer here. So thanks a lot, Lynn. Come on up. Hi, my name is Lisa Wolf, and I have been doing outdoor water aerobics for about eight years at Highland Pool and know very well how smelly you are when you get home. Well, this summer, about halfway through, I realized that my suit that I started with was still intact, and I didn't smell. And I thought, why? What's going on? And then, kind of underground, I found out that they had this new filtration system, and I think it's really, really exciting. I'm grateful that I don't, we don't smell all the time, and our skin isn't all crunchy and dry, and our suits aren't disintegrating before our very eyes, and it's a natural green product. So for that, I'm really grateful. Thank you very much. Hello, my name is Mary Schmidt, and I've been coming to this pool for probably five years with the Highland Catholic Schools daycare program. And we come every Tuesday and Thursday, and it's really amazing the kids from not needing goggles. We usually have about 20 goggles a year, and I think this year we have five. And they don't even complain about itchy eyes or anything like that. You're, um, they're, all their skin just feels so soft after. We've had kids go to weddings after swimming at the pool because they don't smell like chlorine anymore. Um, I know I've gone to concerts and stuff and no one notices that I've been at the pool all day. So it's really great from, you know, we have so many blonde kids and no hair things and your hair even feels soft instead of chemically and greasy after. So this change has been great for this pool. I hear more and more of these from everywhere I am and we just put it at our other facility and people are coming up and saying how fabulous it is. Our other facility is an indoor facility and we had tremendous chlorine in the air and smells and it's completely eliminated. So the, I don't really see anything negative about this product and it's just been a wonderful thing for St. Paul to do this summer.